You know, Richard, um, uh, we're going to discuss Kate Blanchett, mm -hmm. and we decided to do that. And I went back, and you know, this what's so great about um, Notes from a Scandal is that we've got a woman, uh, Judy Dench, who mm -hmm. of course is Dame uh, Judy yeah, Dench, yeah, sure. um, who has been around for years. She's now, I guess, in her 70s. And with Kate Blanchett, we really have a brand new actress who has been around for almost less than 10 years. Plus, you have the, you have the situation of two uh, actresses that played Queen Elizabeth II kind of facing right. up against each other in different stages of their lives, that was. In fact, she, um, the first film she ever made was Oscar and Lucinda, which came out on the international scene after Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, but Elizabeth, her second film, is the one that just rockets her to stardom. Mm -hmm. She's born in Melbourne, Australia. She's one of those many um, uh, uh, Australian actors right. and they actresses. Were, they were coming over like, like Mel the same Gibson, um, uh, Judy... Nicole Kidman. You know, yeah, Nicole yeah. Kidman. Yeah. I mean, the, the, plethora, the plethora of talents in different areas from that little thin coastal area of Australia with only 15 million people in that country is amazing. I Sometimes I think it's basically that the, there's been the, the, the thesis of like British stage acting, the antithesis of American emotional acting. Australia's produ producing the synthesis. But Something in between. Maybe Absolutely. That's, maybe that's the case. No, I think it's She's, a very good... Um, a cute observation well, by you. <laughs> well, she's she's a wonderful actress, and she's she's like uh, she she was a utility supporting actress all during the uh, the early '90s, stealing a movie called The Gift, mm -hmm. um, in which she played a southern um, um, a, a, a touched uh, in the head southern yeah. bull weevils type uh, and, played, uh, and a fortune teller, yeah. and uh, it was stole the film. She's a fantastic, a heartless slut of a New Englander uh, in, in the shipping in, news. In the shipping news, playing a character called Petal Bear, yeah. one of uh, one of Annie Proulx's typically subtle names. Um, um, and Victoria Guerin, she was um, a very believable and tragic um, uh, uh, Irish uh, reporter journalist trying was, to yeah. break the, the uh, drug rings. Right. Now, one of my favorite performances of hers was a, a key one in, in Lord of the Rings. And, how, and it was in uh, Fellowship of the Ring, right. the, the first of the three films. Um, we, we got to the point where they have the Virgin Mary character, Galadriel, mm -hmm. and uh, Blanchett just inverts it. Um, mm -hmm. She comes into it like uh, swans in sort of like a perfume commercial or something like that, mm -hmm. and then gets this terrifically nasty shock off the off of the ring of power, and mm -hmm. then you suddenly know this is not this is not going to be all angels and fairies from here on in. This right. is, you know, and she wanted to play that part. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because she always wanted to play a part with pointed ears. <laughs> <laughs> she actually saved them. Um, uh, she's got a tremendous sense of humor, and um, if you hear quotes from her, she's got both feet on on the ground. Yeah. But then, just, then she I, turns around, and in the aviator, she steals the aviator. By playing, playing Catherine, Kate, Hep Catherine Hepburn, yeah, yeah. and, and um, doing it beautifully, wonderfully. Yeah. She, of course, has been nominated several times for Academy Awards. Mm -hmm. um, just hunt out out there the films in which she is in, and you'll just be delighted by the really one of the great her, new. Her actresses. part is always going to be good, even if the movie's a lox, and it's just like you can count on it. Right. Yeah.